guys to another Mustang video. Uh, today we're going to jump into doing some of the sheet metal work and removing the sound deadening material out of the floorboards to assess how bad my rust situation really is. And then my daughter and I are going to remove the rear window just to be on the safe side and make sure there's no rust in there. So uh, let's jump right into this one guys and get started. guys the back glass is out and everything looks good except for this back corner I'm glad I got it out of there because the adhesive wasn't even bonded to the car anymore uh, luckily there's no rust holes and I can't feel any scale on the inside so we'll just have to clean this up real good and paint it seal it up and now we're going to jump onto the floorboards remove that sound deadening material and assess the rust situation there the rust is a little worse than I expected it to be, and it appears to be rusting from the inside out, which is why I couldn't see it from underneath the car when I bought it. So I want to get this out, get it all cleaned up as best as I can, and kill that rust, and then spray it with an epoxy sealer to seal it, keep it from rusting again. So I've got the heat gun from that freight store and a plastic scraper and heat seems to be the ticket. I did a little test corner here with my mini torch and it worked pretty well. So I'm hoping this has the same effect. Wow guys, I must say that worked a lot better than I expected it to. It just peeled right off of there and the factory seam sealer that was around this here peeled right up as well. I doubt it'll work the same over here but we're definitely going to give it a shot. And I've got to heat this guy back up so I can pry it out of there because the seam sealer hardened up. And get that out and I'm going to hit it over here where this rust is and see if I can't scrape that as well. The heat gun works on the seam sealer as well. It warms it right up and it's like putty. It just scrapes right up. I'm very pleased with the results from the driver's side rear. And it looks great. Nothing rusted through, no holes. I went through with a wire brush and cleaned it up pretty good. And uh, move on to the passenger side. So I made a little detour on my way to the passenger side rear floorboard and I gotta say I am ecstatic. I brought the heat gun back here and all this seam sealer that I've been digging at and grinding on. The heat gun and scraper. Took it right off, no problem. I've been doing it wrong for years. Learn something new every day. Heat 
Here is the passenger side. It isn't as bad as I thought it would be. But it's not as good as I hoped it would be. Thankfully, none of the holes are any terrible angles that I can't reproduce with some sheet metal. So I won't need to do a floor pan. And this is pretty solid. There's got a little bit of rust here and some here. But it's all surface rust that I can get off. But I won't know the true condition of everything and how much work it's going to be until I get the flap disc in here and grind it all down to bare metal. And then I'll see exactly where I need to cut. Because you don't want to try to weld into rust. So iron oxide doesn't create a great bond and the rust will just return. So you got to try and eliminate that 100% before you go welding it in but we'll get it done it's late i'm gonna run in the house take me a shower and i'll be back out here in the morning good morning guys it's the next day and we're gonna jump on the fronts and get this sound ending material out got a little bit of rust and stuff here that just got me kind of worried so Figure to be better to be safe than sorry and go ahead and get this out on both the driver and the passenger side. I don't see any reason to take that out, so I'm going to leave that alone. It looks pretty good all the way around, but this should go a little faster because I'm going to be using a metal scraper versus a plastic because the plastic melted. Let's get after it. Driver side is done, and that is the reason I decided to go ahead and clear the driver side out. And also, it appears somebody may have used a jack right here, so the floorboard's pushed up. It's like creased right here, so I'm going to try to knock that back down where it's supposed to be before I lay down new sound deadener and also I've got factory paint flaking off in certain spots so let's jump to the passenger side Got all the sound ending material out. Found a couple new rust spots that I gotta take care of, but now we get to clear up the metal a little bit and see exactly where we need to make our patch panels. So here's what I took out of the floorboards. This is about 10 to 15 pounds of soundproofer, and this stuff's pretty gnarly when it's hard. So the heat definitely did the trick, made it a little easier. But I'll never grind at this stuff again because it gums up your grinders and wire wheels. It's not fun. But I'm glad it's over with. On to the sheet metal stuff. Alright, time to start on this sheet metal work. First, I gotta cut out all the bad material. So I know it's thin here. To here but I've also got to figure out what's going on with this guy here so I'm gonna have to cut 
up to here somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out my lines and get this cut out and try to leave it in its original state as much as possible so I can use it as a reference when I'm making my patch panels. So initially I was going to try to drill out all the spot welds and replicate this panel but there's probably about 40 of them just for this piece. We got all the way across this part here on this front panel and then also on the panel on the back where it's sandwiched in there's a bunch so I don't think it's going to be in my best interest to drill them out so what I think I'm going to do is cut down about an inch and a quarter crossed clear this so I can access it cut in and then cut just under this line and pull this out and then make a patch panel. So we got some pretty heavy rust here. I'm going to go ahead and grind that down and hope we got some good metal behind it. Sweet. It actually looks pretty good, guys. guys fortunately it doesn't look too bad it's definitely going to need some cleaning up and some rust proofing done but it still has plenty of structure and i'm going to have to get some new bolts these are pretty rusted out they're supposed to be a square near the top of the head here that sits in this notch and keeps the bolt from spinning and this clip actually clips into here to keep it from moving and this one's rusted out so is the other one the other one's actually the one that came loose but i'm glad i got in there and 
got them out because I tried beating them out and prying them out and it wouldn't work so but at least I got the rust exposed and I can go ahead and take care of that while I'm in there To this spot I'm using this is my marker that edge right there is gonna be my cut line and then from this edge a quarter inch up I'm gonna cut all the way down to this edge a quarter inch from it and then down and then underneath I'm gonna follow this all the way down to get this piece out Now that's out of the way, I'd like to show you guys why I made the cut where I did. So, if you look right here, you can see in, and there's like three layers of sheet metal here. And I could see rust all through this spot right here on the inside. So I chose to cut here so that I didn't have to cut into this main structure which I did a little bit, but I'll tack that up and grind it down. But then there's another layer here on the inside that you can't really see very well. Let's see if I can get you in there and focus. And then you have the outer layer of the roof skin. Here's what I cut out and why. That inner second layer of roof skin was pretty well tore up. But got it out. guys so I waited for it to get dark so that I could show you what I'm seeing with this passenger side floorboard and in the meantime I've been getting some of the sheet metal cut and everything to make my patches the amount of pinholes that are in it from rust there are quite a few but there's plenty of structure left here so I'm not going to replace the entire floorboard they don't make them for the 94 through 2004 Mustangs just yet, uh, I've heard that you can use the Fox body floorboards and they work just fine. They're just a little bit different. But uh, I want to try to save this one. It's not as bad as it looks. I've cleaned it up with a flap disc, went through it with a pick and see where the soft spots are. I think we can salvage this one and make it work. Um, I'd much rather do that than put a fox body floorboard in here and not have everything line up correctly so I can make this look pretty good but uh I've got a light slid up underneath the car I'm gonna turn the light out for you and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about and here it is like I said we got a lot of pepper marks some soft spots but The worst one I think is gonna be right here as far as the angles I'm gonna have to try to make. 
but the rest of them are pretty flat so we're gonna mark them out and go ahead and cut everything and start getting everything ready to weld in our patches everywhere that I could see light coming through the floorboard has been circled so now I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna make my cuts and how I'm gonna make my panels like I said this area right here seems to be the worst as far as angles and trying to remake that piece is going to be rather difficult but we'll see how it turns out guys we've got all the rust cut out and just remember it's gonna get worse before it gets better um, we're gonna go ahead and call this a video and join me in the next one where we will be making patch panels welding those in and sanding everything down and putting down the 2k epoxy primer sealer and getting this thing ready for paint so I know I'm not gonna make my Halloween deadline luckily it's my own deadline but uh, it should be painted shortly thereafter. So as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you.